Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to From the Holler. If you're new, my name is Missy. And y'all, yesterday was a huge cooking day here on the homestead. I got a lot of freezer meals done, breakfast freezer meals done, put into the freezer for the days to come, hopefully a couple of weeks to come. As y'all know, I'm not a morning person, so having those in the freezer really makes things easier for me. And y'all will see that video tomorrow. And I hope y'all enjoyed that one. And when Paps got home, I had Aiden a pizza in the oven. I had Paps a freezer meal in the skillet cooking up. And I said, here's y'all supper. I'm going to town. And y'all did. I, I went by myself, believe it or not, went by myself and picked up a few things that we needed and maybe a few things that, you know, we didn't really need, but they were such a good price, I couldn't pass them up, so I restocked a few things. And did I keep on budget? Well, y'all have to watch the video to find out. And I just went and had a lot of fun, ran into my son and three of the baby grands while I was in Kroger. And it's always fun to get to see them when I'm out and about like that. I try to be very intentional when I go out to town because we do live so far out in the boondocks. Uh, so I try to make it, you know, a full trip. So last night I had to go pick up some medicine at the pharmacy and I just decided I'm gonna do this. I wound up going to the grocery outlet and to Kroger. So, I hope y'all enjoy this video, and I hope y'all enjoy seeing what all I got in this week's grocery haul. So let's get to it. Well, y'all, this week it's not much of a haul, but it's things that we needed and my freebie for the month of April. So let's get into this haul from Kroger. I found, I opened up my spice drawer and this, <laughs> this was open, and I've got mustard seeds, and I have got to vacuum out of my spice drawer. It's almost canning time, so I went ahead and got another thing of mustard seeds. I use that a lot in my canning, my pickling of okra and peppers and all the things. So I just went ahead and got that while I was thinking about it. I got another big thing of minced garlic. We go through this a lot. So grabbed another big one of those. I am making a cake one day, probably next week. Uh, over the weekend next week. And I needed, uh, I think, two cups of Coke. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And what doesn't, what I don't use in that cake and the icing, then somebody will drink it, I'm sure. I got two pounds of navy beans. I'm going to be canning some more this coming week and I've got a recipe that I want to do involving navy beans. I've already got a couple of pounds here so I just grabbed two more bags so I have a full run. Aiden's been wanting apples. We like to dip our apples in peanut butter and we do that as a bedtime snack and throughout the day also so I went ahead and grabbed these honey crisp apples. They were on sale for $2.99 for the bag, so I just grabbed that. The bag of ruffles back there, that's my freebie for the month of April. So I grabbed it. And then Kroger had their butter on sale again, $2.29 a piece. And I also had a coupon, so I got one of them for $1.59 or $1.79 because I had a coupon for one. So, what do you think, y'all? Mm. Not much, but there's more. So, I might have run into the grocery outlet, and they might have just stopped. So, yeah. I'll explain. <laughs> No, really. Let's start over here. I got 12 of the Simply Orange 
orange juices. Perfect size for us, for Aiden. They were 50 cents a piece. So $6 for the case. I'll take that. Uh, if you've watched my grocery hauls, about a month or so, no, it's been more than that, several grocery hauls back, I got a bunch of these at the grocery outlet, and they were $1.99. These are $1.99. This is the first time I've seen them back there. I am almost out, okay? The expiration date is May 17th, I think, on these. So, with what I have and with these two, I should be good to go until then. So, seriously, those have lasted me that long. I got perhaps a thing of chocolate pudding for a dollar. He loves that. And I'm sure Aiden will help him eat it. I have a recipe I'm wanting to make with this. This was a dollar forty nine and Sargento is one of my favorite brands, so I grabbed that. They have potatoes, two five pound bags for four dollars. These are the Idaho potatoes. I love these, and so I just grabbed one bag. That's all I needed right now, and I mean, I'm already over budget, okay? <laughs> um, Oregano. I used all the oregano that I had, so I paid a dollar, and I grabbed me another one. Needed that. I have got paps spoiled on these. Uh, I find them at YouGo or the grocery outlet, and I'm not paying full price for these. These were actually on the clearance section. So these were normally, let me see, where is, oh, sorry about that. Normally $7.99, but they were on clearance for $4.99. So I got 12 Cliff Bars, chocolate brownie Cliff Bars for $4.99. Good deal. Yes, I bought more french fries. Yes, I did. Y'all, these were a $1.79 a bag at the grocery outlet. And I bought five more bags to put in my freezer. Okay? I did. Y'all know our love for the hot sausage. These were on sale also. Um, freeze by April 17th. These are going straight into my freezer right now. These were on sale for $1.99 a pound, and I grabbed five more of those. So there is my haul from the grocery outlet, and I will give you guys totals here in just a minute. All right, y'all. It's time to get down to the nitty-gritty of things and tell y'all how much I spent this week. Yes, I went over my $25 budget. I did. I did. I went into the grocery outlet and they had several things there that I knew I needed to restock. And there were a couple of things that I got as a treat for Paps and Aiden and also for myself, you know. And yeah, I went over my budget. I did. So my total for this week was drum roll please $70.25 so I went over budget by $45.25 but again I did get several things to restock like the sausage um, and the butter and even the fries okay the fries yes so, I wanted to show you guys my receipts. For Kroger, my total was $28. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. It's pretty light. $28.33. So, that's what I spent at Kroger. And as you can see right here, one of the butters was $1.59 because I did have that coupon for $0.70 cents off of one. So, I got to use that. So, that made it a little bit cheaper. I will use that $1.59 pound of butter. Ooh, and I'll be happy to do it, too. 
And then at the grocery outlet, I spent $41.92, which I don't think is too bad considering all the things that I got. Um, I did grab two more of those creamers because I have one more in my fridge, my overstock fridge. And so they expire sometime in May. So I did go ahead and grab a couple more of those. That will get me at least until the 1st of May or so. Uh, and honestly, I looked at Creamer at Kroger and stuff while I was there. And the cheapest I saw it there was it was on sale two for seven. So three fifty dollars a piece. I paid a dollar ninety nine, and y'all, I I kind of like that flavor, you know, the Grinch flavor. I like it, and you know, I'll I'll use it. That's for sure. I have used it for a couple of months now. When I got, I think eight or ten of them when I first found them, and they've not had them since then. And then when I went in last night to the grocery outlet, they had them again. So, winner winner. So, yeah, I I do feel bad about going over my budget, but I think I got some really great deals. So, I'm not going to be too hard on myself. I'm going to give myself a little bit of grace, a little bit of leeway, and just say, next week we'll do better. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm happy with what I got. I've got to get back on budget. <laughs> I've got to, but yeah, I'm not going to complain at all. I think I did pretty well with what I, I did spend, so I'm okay with it. I, it kind of shook me there, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. It was just one of them times. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give us a big old thumbs up as that really helps our channel to continue to grow and growing it is every day and i am happy to see that i really am and if you haven't yet be sure to hit that subscribe button because we would love to have you as part of our youtube family and that's exactly what we are we're a little family and yeah uh I try to show grocery hauls every Saturday, and I try to stick to a $25 a week budget. This week that didn't happen, clearly. Uh, and I try to show you all different things that's going on here on the homestead. I like to show, you know, what I'm using all my pantry food for, how I'm using it, what I'm making with it, all the recipes, all the things I try to show in. A little bit of gardening because y'all just found out that the last frost date for us is April 18th that's not too far away okay that's about two weeks away I'm behind we've still got structures and planting and all the things to do out there so it's gonna be a busy next few days if if the weather holds up right now we're in dogwood winter here in East Tennessee and it's cold out there if you can tell I got my sweatshirt on again today whereas the other day I was in sleeveless because <laughs> we had 80 degree weather and now we're in the low 50s so yeah nanny's cold again anyway thank y'all for watching thank y'all for being here much love to each and every one of y'all and we'll see you all in the next one bye y'all